So in the last video, we drew a graph. I'm going to draw that graph a second time. This time I'm going to use the mouse. I think I can click a little bit better with the mouse. So at negative 3, we're at 0.5. Okay, so it's right about here. I can do a little bit bigger. So it's between there. At negative 2, we're at 1. So we're right about here. Okay, at negative 1, we're at 2. Right here. Okay, right at that 2. At 0, we're at 4. Okay, right about there. At 1, we jump to 8. Okay, and at 2, we go all the way up to 16. And 3, we can't graph because it's way off the grid. So 3 would be way up off the grid. Now we're going to connect it. I might have to do this in two shots. So I'm going to try to draw it with my pen here. i got like a pen that I can draw on the screen. This one's actually not bad. It's coming up, up, up. That's actually not a bad graph. You put two arrows on the end here. Maybe I can make the arrows a little bit better. I can erase that. I think we can do a better job. Okay. Now let's go to the second one. So let's go to the second table and fill it in. This time we got 0.5. I think the graph's going to go the other way. So we've got two. Oh, we're going to use a different color, so we, we'll match it. We'll do a... Uh, purple maybe. So I'll go 2, 0 0.5 to the negative 3. Then we'll go 2, 0 0.5 okay, to the negative 2. Okay. Uh, 2, 0 0.5 to the negative 1. 2, 0 0.5 to the 0. 2, 0 0.5 to the 1. Let's bring this down so you can see the rest. And then 2, 0 0.5 to the power of 2. And 2, 0 0.5 to the power of 3. And we're going to go to our calculator again. And we're going to calculate these out. So let's turn our calculator on. So we got 2 times decimal 5 to the exponent negative 3. Let's go back. Now, some calculators work differently. I get 16 here. So right in here, I get 16. Okay, next one. 2 times 0.5 to the exponent negative 2. 8. So I get 8 here. Let's do the next one. 2 times 0.5 to the exponent negative 1. 4. So I get 4 here. Let's do the next one. Or maybe you can see a pattern. 2 times 0 0.5 to the exponent 0. 2. Hmm. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 divided by 2, this one's going to be 1. 1 divided by 2, I think it's going to be 0 0.5. A half, a half divided by 2, a half of a half. That's 0 0.25, or let's check if that's right, 0 0.25. Let's check if the last one's right. 2 times 0 0.5 to the exponent 3. 0.25, so we've got all our numbers. Now we're going to go graph on the same grid. So we've got the exponent. All our numbers, let's go graph it now. Switch over to the grid, which is over here. Okay, we're going to start off at negative 3. And we're going to go all the way up to 16. So at negative 3, we're going to go all the way up to 16. Oh, we'll use the mouse, and we'll show you. So at negative 3, we go up, 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 and negative 16. Now let's do a different color here. Okay, right there. So there's 16, there's negative 3. At negative 2, we go all the way up to 8. So we go and put a little dot right here at the 8. Right there. Okay, then at negative 1, we're at 4. So we put a dot at the 4 right here. Okay, at 0. Okay, at 0, we're at the 2. Okay, so we put a dot there, 0, 2, at 1, we're at the 1. 
here we're at the half well the quarter is a bit tricky to draw so we're not going to draw the quarter i'm going to use my pen to try try to do the best curve i can through here and you can see this is dk it's going the other way okay and that goes like that it's the best i can do i'm kind of miss that one it's it's close but there's that one okay now we have one final question at the end here so let's take a look at this final question here using the graph you plotted y equals 4 to the 2x so the first one the one in red okay estimate what x would be if y was 5. so let's go to the graph here let's use a different color let's use blue here so when y is 5 so let's take a look Here's where y is 5, boom, right across. Okay, so they, here's y is 5. Well, y would be 5 when, if we go all the way down and come up right about here, I'd say about 0.2 or so, maybe 0.3. So my guess would be, okay, let's go to the next page, about 0.3. Okay, x would probably be about 0.3 when y is 5. So I just drew a line where y was 5 and see where it hit and came down. Okay, that's the end for this video. Um, you can now do two more graphs on your own. Take pictures of them and hand them in. So you got two more graphs on the next graph. So you got two charts to do and two more graphs. Do that on your own and then you can take pictures of it and hand it in.